Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, look at this. Mosa Scuria is the CS for Trade, Industry and Investment. A man was appointed to the office by one William Samway Ruto. So, Kuria is the appointment of William Ruto, but then this is the minister in that ministry. So having this one in Kenya, we had U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Thais, and she was visiting the country specifically with an aim of an agreement, whereby now it was U.S. and the East Africa Community Trade and Investment Framework Agreement, that is TIFA. This meeting was happening in Nairobi. So that means she was meeting ministers in those ministry from East Africa. Then in her meeting, she decided that, that the host, CS Moses Kuria, is an welcomed guest in that meeting. You are the host, CS, but you have been blocked from going to attend the very meeting that you are supposed to be part of. You have been viewed as an unwelcomed guest. Hakubaliwe. Asingie. Na alikanyagiwa kuria hakuenda huo mkutano. Instead, Rebecca Miano is the one who attended that meeting. So, instead of kuria, in his capacity, someone else went to attend because not Moses Kuria, not because Kuria was not there or he was busy. No. He went, but he was blocked. You can't enter. Stop. And the real claim behind this, why Kuria was blocked, is the question. Why is the U.S. trade representative blocking William Ruto's appointee Moses Kuria from a key meeting where Kenya was also supposed to sign to this agreement. Yani ministers wengine wametoka East Africa, Tanzania, Suji, Uganda, wamekuja hapo. <laughs> eh? Alafu unambiwa you are not allowed to enter and you are the host. What a kind of shame. The reason why Catherine Thais refused Kuria it is because she is viewing Moses Kuria as an extremist, especially with her with his latest remark on social media about which is against the opposition leadership and the, the kind of language he's using towards some institutions. Remember the kind of words Kuria used on a National Media Group. She literally referred to a holy institution as Malaya. That's what Kuria could say. And this is the man in charge of trade, industry, and investment. Go on. Kuria is he is sick because you go and check on the letter street is doing. With the position he's holding to, Kuria should not speak like that. He talked about finishing someone. He talked about going to urinate on a Urukinyata at Ichaweri. Then he was even giving a debt and uh, asking if there will be someone that he can hire for it to deal with the opposition leadership. So with all this, you are seeing Kenyans are now viewing Kuria as a sick person. Another kwaya ni mgonjo wa mawazo. He might be sick. So Kenyans are now saying Kuria is sick. But then, the big question is that this is a minister representing Kenya appointed by William Samuel Ruto. Why would the U.S. block William Ruto's representative? As we continue with this discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. 
to our eternal purpose, Abasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, if U.S. trade representative is rejecting Korea, I want to tell you, this is not just Catherine Thais as an individual doing so. There is a possibility that she has firm instruction from U.S. not to accept individuals in William Ruto's government who seemingly are showing signs of extremism. Those individuals, remember U.S. and the other, you know, all those, uh, the European Union, they are looking for a way to <laughs> have Raila and the Ruto sit down and speak. As you have said, no, we are not in this business. Then when you hear people like Korea from Ruto side speaking like this, because of this, they don't want people like Korea. Korea is not a leader. Korea is behaving like a goon. That's why we openly view him like that. When you talk like a goon, you behave like a goon, you will be treated like a goon. So, this one now, it is, it's like U.S. is, is hitting William Ruto in the face. You are the one who appointed the Moses Korea to the office. With all those kind of remarks that he's giving to an extent the world is rejecting him. You are too blind to see. So Ruto, you are too blind to see that you have someone who is messing up the country. Because if it was someone else, Korea should have asked to resign or fired. Apologize, resign or be fired also. But Ruto is not finding anything bad to do with the Moses Kure statement. That's why he's still entertaining him. To an extent, Kenyans are asking, is Korea holding William Ruto hostage? Kuna nini yenye Ruto alifanya na Korea akaona yenye nafanya Ruto aogope kufuta Korea kazi ama kum, kum, kumpiga msomo So in other words we can say US is rejecting William Ruto's government If you reject someone's appointee it means you are even rejecting the person who appointed this man Rejection is now coming. It's not only from Kenya. Now the world is rejecting Ruto. Na hawa jamaa wametajwa mara nyingi hao ndio waleka yeye kwa uongozi. Waona mali penye wameka inchi ya Kenya. Sisi tuko na shida kubwa. Kwa sababu we have someone in office who seemingly behave like a man who has no any clue on governance. When people organize for mass action, they are organizing to pay goons and they're paying them cheaply to come and beat and kill Kenyans who are demonstrating. Ona wasa huyo ndio mtu aliyeka seta was one seven president. I'm saying this because the videos have, the videos have been all over. NSIS that are watching this. Ruto has the information. But the silence in the state house is too loud. There is loud silence in the state house. Meaning, they might be part of this because you have been given a mandate that no one else in this country has been handed over. Then you are silent. It means you are in agreement. Then this is your plan. That's how we can conclude these things. So U.S. is saying, no, Korea, wewe, tabiazako, you are too much extremist. Unongea mambo ya kuhuwa watu. Wakiona watu wakubaliana na wewe you go is yani mkuria ni mtu kama tu Ruto. It is either his way or the highway. So wanasema wewe not you. Atuko na wewe. Kuria has been has embarrassed William Ruto's cabinet. Because the inf information out there is that now William Ruto's appointee, one of the cabinet member has been rejected in a meeting between U.S. and the East Africa ministers for trade and investment. That is now the message. 
So you can't see the problem until the world is telling you there is a problem here. The outsiders can tell you that there is a problem here. But Luther cannot see the very, very problem. Having people like Kuri and we say, with these two, you don't need an enemy. These are enough individuals to finish you completely. Even if you're talking about Mount Kenya turning against William Ruto, those individuals who will help this to happen quickly, it is people like Kuria, the Shagwa, and the team. Akina Kemani Shungwa, Lindy Nyoro. I wonder what what Amaliza is. So, we have leaders in Mount Kenya region who seemingly got a chance in William Ruto's government, but they have always come out like extremists. All of them. Ukiangalia Kuria, Angalia Kemani Shungwa, Angalia Ndindi Nyoro, Angalia Gashagwa Mwenyewe. So what an extremist. Now this is where we are. So, it is good also U.S. to learn the kind of people they helped to get to power. They are in this mess because they were part of that game. 